Hey everybody, Logan here, and today we're finally covering this controller that came out this year. And this is the first time I've seen it in the store. They had Bowser, Yoshi, and Mario variants. And I was wondering why they didn't have Luigi, but they didn't. So I found these at Best Buy. They were $22.99. They usually go between $19 and $24. And I picked up the Bowser. These are the, I guess you could say, the least expensive version of a wired controller you can get put out by Power A with the theming on it. So like I said, you'll see it here. There was uh, Yoshi, Mario, and Bowser. I decided to pick up the Bowser because, well, I like Bowser. It was either this or the Yoshi. I really like Yoshi, but there was something about the Bowser controller. I decided to go with that one. But they're all pretty much the same. Uh, I'm wondering if is if this is the variant, the modern, current 2022 variant, it does say 2022 on the bottom, uh, of the Pokemon ones. Now, the Pikachu one like this came out, I want to say about two years, maybe more. And then recently I've seen the Charizard and the um, Venusaur. No, so uh, Bulbasaur. It was a Bulbasaur version in stores, but I haven't seen a squirrel. From my understanding, there is a squirrel. I just haven't seen it. But I haven't been able to get my hands on them to see if they are the new ones or just repainted versions of the old ones. So we're going to open this one, take a look, see if it's the new version, which it says 2022 on the bottom. We're going to take a closer look at the box. And well, hopefully this helps you whether or not you want to buy this. Because like I said, this is going to be one of the least expensive versions of a wired controller you can get right now for your Nintendo Switch. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. Red Bandana Gaming is here for you. Okie dokie, so here we go. Let's take a look at the box before I pop this sucker open and take a look right there it does say 2022 so it looks pretty much identical according to the front of the box um i'm wondering if the sticks are different we're actually going to compare it to the 2019 because the pokemon versions are 2019 this is 2022 now one thing people will definitely ask which it does say right here does not support HD rumble, IR motion controls, or Amiibo NFC. So you can't use any of your Amiibos. Like I said, this is the least expensive version of a wired controller you can get that is licensed by Nintendo, that is themed. It's around $20 to $25, depending on where you're picking it up. Like I said, I saw this at Best Buy, $22. That was the least expensive I've seen it, but I know... Uh, there are listings out there for around 20 bucks. So, if we look at it, it looks, looks very similar to those 2019 controllers. Uh, so let's open this bad boy up. Doop, doop, there we go. Oh, whoops, forgot the sides. They always go all the way around. There you go. There you go. Close that back for safety purposes. There you go. All right, so they put the wire at the top. Looks like the boxes are designed the same. Yeah, the boxes are identical. You got your instructions like always. And then here we go. All right, so it looks identical to 2019 everything, and we'll grab the 2019 Pokemon one, which, like I said, I do have. Oh, I do like the artwork down here at the bottom. A gradient artwork. It has all the, the Goombas and the, the Bullet Bills and the, and the Koopa Troopas, all the bad guys. That's really cool. You got the Bowser here. Now you got that metal-plated, uh, metallic-painted, I should say d-pad which we've seen on other versions of these like the metroids and whatnot so looking at the top it is not and i repeat it is not 
type C. So if you guys are wondering, these are identical to the 2019s. I have the 2019 right here. As you can see, that's a bright yellow Pikachu and the sticks, they're much wider sticks than the standard um, PDA or power A or third party most sticks. The, the top, the surface is just much, much larger. It's a much thicker stick. It's not a bad stick at all. It's a little smooth. And normally you would get some kind of texture here on a lot of them, but here you have the texture on the outside of the stick to keep you from slipping, but here it's very smooth. So this is going to be a solid controller. I've used this many times uh, until I got an upgrade. So for 20 bucks, you can still find these out there for around 20 to $25. Like I said, there's the Pikachu, as you see in my hand, there is a Bulbasaur, a Charmander, and a Squirtle. The Charmander, actually it might be a Charizard. I think it's a Charmander. I think it's all the basic uh, forms of the Pokemon, the starters. But as you see, the backs, everything is identical about these controllers. So if you already have the 2019 version, there's no reason to buy these unless you need a replacement or you just like the, the character artwork. So for 20 to $25, 22 at Best Buy, uh, $22.99, it's, it's not, a bad, not a bad price. They do make the standard ones, no colors, no painted, just plain black. I think there's a plain white one as well. And those will always be $19.99. No matter where you go, they should be $19.99. Do not pay any more than $19.99. I've seen them at Walmart, I've seen them at Target, and I've seen them at GameStop, and I've seen them at Best Buy, all for $19.99. So if you want to forego the artwork on the controller, the theming, you can go with one of those. It's going to be the same exact controller. I used to have one of those, but after buying this one, I was like, oh, and of course, all the other controllers I had, I traded it in. I was like, there's no reason to have all these controllers. And I just kept the, the Pikachu version, as you can see right here. And now I have this one. This one I am going to keep just because I like the uh, Bowser theming. So these are very standard controllers. There's nothing fancy, nothing special about these controllers, but they do get the job done. So if you have a kid or a friend, or hey, even yourself that just needs a second controller or just a replacement controller, or you just want a pro style controller that's not gonna break the bank, these are definitely a good way to go. They're solid controllers, but you are foregoing features. Like I said, there's no motion, there's no HD rumble. They do add weights in here and you can feel them just so it's not a plastic shell. Because if they just put nothing in here and it's just the board with this on the outside it feels too light so there are weights added but it says there is no hd rumble as well and no nfc so you have to make some concessions for the price but there you go hopefully this helped you guys out thank you so much uh, for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video make sure you turn on the bell for notifications while you're down there hit that um Super thanks button, the little heart with a dollar, and it just give us a tip that really helps out. Or right below it, you see the shelf with all the merch. Yeah, you can buy a shirt or a hoodie or a hat or whatnot, or even a drinkware glass we have. Thank you guys so much. Remember, follow us on our socials. Subscribe. <laughs> like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.